We know President Abraham Lincoln was assassinated by John Wilkes Booth. Then history tells us Booth was killed by authorities after trying to escape in Virginia. But some believe the last part of that story isn't true. Legend has it that John Wilkes Booth actually spent his final years here in Oklahoma. Tonight, we're looking into those claims and take you to the room where Booth may have died. Enid, Oklahoma, known as the wheat capital of the United States, home of the Enid Plainsman, and to some, it's known as John Wilkes Booth's last city. He was in Enid just a little under two years. We moved into what was then a relatively new Grand Avenue hotel where we are now. That hotel, now the Garfield Furniture Store, has quite the story to tell. And it all centers around this room. That used to be an old hotel, and some people think John Wilkes Booth died there. But how did he get here? Well, the story starts in 1865, right after Booth assassinated Lincoln. Shot Lincoln, jumped on the stage, stated death to tyrants. Historians say Booth left Washington. Union soldiers found him 12 days later at a barn in Virginia. Booth was shot and killed, and the barn caught fire. The body was taken out of the barn, slightly roasted. At the autopsy, there was doubt that the man was actually Booth. They killed the wrong man or Booth got away. So where did John Wilkes Booth go? We believe Booth got on the Appalachian Trail and went down to the Gulf of Mexico. Eventually making his way through Texas into Oklahoma. The legend says once he got to Hennessy, Oklahoma, Booth got really sick. On what he thought was his deathbed, he confessed to his landlord, the Methodist minister and his wife, that he was actually Booth. But he recovered. Some locals believe he left Hennessy and fled to Enid because he spilled his secret. He would go to the saloons, which were located on the south side of the square where we are, and recite Shakespeare and do skits. And that is a possible clue. John Wilkes Booth was one of the most famous actors in the country when he assassinated Lincoln. He's also known to be a big fan of Shakespeare. In an alcohol stupor, he was claiming to his fellow barflies that You'll see, I was once an important man and uh, did a great thing. As he got older, this booth became unhappy and despondent, poisoning himself in this room. The autopsy revealed more clues about this man. Had the broken leg, he was the correct age, he had the correct physical uh, characteristics, and the one telling mark that their booth didn't have but our booth does a scar across the back of the neck that Booth had gotten on stage during a sword fight. Regardless of whether this was actually John Wilkes Booth or not, the mortician capitalized on the possibility. And he put it in the back of the funeral parlor and for a nickel you could go in and see the body of John Wilkes Booth. He says the body was embalmed with arsenic, essentially mummified. Eventually the mortician sold the Booth mummy to the circus. As part of the circus thrill was the freak show the two-headed cow, the three-legged chicken, and so forth. And here we have the, the mummy. Now the only thing left of the Enid Booth legend is this room. People travel from all over to see the room where Booth died. We've had Japan, the Netherlands, England, Germany. They're still holding out hope for any information. They want to find the Booth mummy to examine its DNA.